Hello YouTube. So I actually saw this movie, Despicable Me 2, um, a few weeks ago. I just, I've been busy so I haven't had a chance to review it. And um, this will probably be a short review because I don't really have that much to say about Despicable Me 2, mainly because this, is, this isn't a kind of movie I would analyze deeply. So if you see me looking this way, it's because I have my notes here. Here, there's my notes. Can't really tell, but there's my notes. Um, Despicable Me 2, if you want the short review, like, if you just want a general gist of it, um, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. It definitely wasn't a waste of time. It's just, it's okay. It's, there's definitely better movies out there. It's just, it's not the kind of movie that would be on the top of your list. Like, this is the kind of movie that you would see if there aren't any like other big movies out you know so if you just want to watch like an okay movie if you just want to go to the theater then I guess this pickle with me to be fine but honestly this is a kind of movie that I would just rent out or just watch online I wouldn't want to go to the theater for this kind of movie uh so that's the short review it was okay now the longer review um first off going back to the first this big will me even though I'm not a not the kind of person who would go to see an animated movie, I mean I like animated movies, but it's not really my kind of thing. Um, this Big Little Me one was it was it was fine. I mean it had it had a certain charm to it. There was a certain kind of like um, charm that speaks to both kids. Uh, you have it speaks to kids because it had the minions and it was all like childish and cute. But there's also a certain like mature charmness to the first movie that kind of that appealed to the older audiences it's really hard to explain but there was a sort of sort of like like feeling that you don't think that kids would get that adults would get like the sort of the the themes of family the themes of like um kids trying to find their parent and i mean i guess kids would get that but the emotional impact i think would be understood better by the older audiences and I feel like I'm over analyzing the first movie but that's how I felt about the first movie so I can't the reason why I keep I went to the first movie is because I can't say the same about this movie like the first movie didn't really feel like it needed a sequel to be honest I mean the sequel was inevitable I mean it's a movie that is like you could just make merchandise off the off almost anything from that movie like if this is a part this is something i hate about the first movie it, it just feels like every shot every scene scene in the first movie could be turned into a toy like you have all the gadgets you have the minions you have the characters who they don't really look like they could be real people well, mainly grew but he doesn't look like he could be a real person but mainly a doll and even the little girls the, I mean, everything in the in the first movie feels like it could be advertised, and the film, the makers of the film knew that, and like, it's like the movie felt like a commercial, the whole time, and I could ignore that about the first movie because it, it was, um, I get, I like I said, it was charming. This movie takes away the charm, if that makes sense. Uh, it. It didn't feel necessary. It just... It felt more like a commercial than the last movie did. I mean, like... I'm not saying it was bad. I already said this movie was okay. But the thing is, the movie just... It was definitely... It, it's a definite decrease in quality. Like, let's go into my notes, actually. So, the pros, I can say... It, I guess it's cute for little kids. And... and if the things you liked about the first movie, like if you like Groove, you like the little, little girls, I mean, they're all there. It's If you like those the, that those parts of the first movie, then yeah. But the cons, I mean, like I said, it doesn't feel necessary. Like, the first movie ended on a solid note. Like, they're a family and blah, blah, blah. And the only reason why I feel like a sequel would be made is if they could come up with a new chapter. If they could come up with something... That could continue the story. And this movie doesn't feel like it should have been made. Like the only thing I could think of that was 
like huge was that now there's a mom in the group but it's like the you didn't really need a mom to the group like it didn't they they didn't really come up with a chapter to this story that like it didn't honestly feel necessary it felt forced that's what i'm trying to say it felt like they were just cashing cashing in on the first movie and there are other signs of a cash in i mean the jokes were more childish than the first one like in i was in the theater and even i saw some kids like cringing at some of the jokes and it didn't have the same impact i mean i wasn't expecting it to have the same impact it was just uh it was it felt definitely weaker and also i i i didn't write this down but i just realized i didn't like some of the story elements they introduced to like uh the story with miranda cosgrove's character having a love subplot wasn't really developed that well and the whole mom character even like they sort of just introduced her and then she started falling in love but they didn't really show them falling in love like okay like first when you see them they're on a mission and then next they're falling in love i mean like it you didn't really see that growth it it, it just, everything in this movie just felt tacked on like that's my main problem with this movie so that's all actually all i have to say about despicable me too i mean it was an unnecessary cash in to be honest like the story was eh, nothing really happened the subplots were not very not well written and it just felt it just felt cheap i mean like say what you will about the first movie but the first movie had heart it had it definitely um it definitely yeah like i said had heart i i don't really know what else to say about it this one just feels soulless not saying it's bad it's just it's not there's not the same, like, spirit there. So, yeah. That's all I have to say.